Outfitters, and we are in the great state of Idaho, and we are headed up to our favorite spot for a bear hunt. We got some bait in the back. Uh, we'll show you what we do and why we do it and how we do it. We've had some success in this uh, particular spot before, so hope you can come along for the ride. Here we go. All right, here we are with our our cart of stuff, our cart of bait, and the way we do this is we bring a shovel. Uh, the shovel is to dig a hole. Uh, we dig a good size hole and we put some some dog food in it. Uh, the dog food is cheap stuff. Goes right through the bear, uh, keeps them coming back. They poop a lot, keeps them coming back. So we dig a hole, we put the dog food in it. And then we put some good sized logs on it. And the reason for the logs is important. The logs, uh, if the logs are hard for me to move, uh, and we come in and the logs have been scattered away like tinker toys, we know that a bear's coming in. But if the logs, if something is tunneled underneath the logs, we know that a coyote's coming in. So we put the logs, we dig the hole, we put the dog food on it, then we put the logs on it. Then on top of the logs, uh, since the dog food doesn't have a whole lot of stink to it, we put some rotten meat. There's some rotten meat down here in a, in a jug, you can't see that. And that's what initially attracts the bears. Then on top of that whole thing, uh, we put some, some cooking oil, some used cooking oil from a restaurant. And uh, that's important as well because that, that kind of keeps the bears coming back. They like that. They'll chew on the logs that we poured on. Then, of course, we got the we got the 338. This is my dad's gun. He made the stock on that. It's a beautiful piece of work. 338 is plenty of knockdown power for a black bear. Uh, so we're going to take this on in, set it all up, and then uh, we'll talk to you from there. Here we are. Here we are at our site. Took us a little over an hour to pack about 200 pounds of stuff in. Don't let, don't ever let anybody tell you that that uh, baiting is easy or an unfair advantage. It's very difficult. It's a lot of work. And now I got to sit and watch this on the off chance that I can catch an animal coming in. Okay, we're getting our hole dug here, and uh, we're, in, we're in a bit of a canyon, which is a good thing because when the air gets warm and it goes up and it cools off and it goes down, it carries that scent of that, that rotten meat all the way up and down this canyon. Uh, so we can, we can bring stuff in from way down in the canyon from right here. Okay, so we got our hole dug. We got the dog food in it, cheap dog food. Keeps them coming back. We got the logs, rocks on top of it. And we got the, the grease, the cooking grease all over it. They'll come and chew on the logs. Even, even after the bait is gone, they'll come and chew on the logs. And we got the sneaky stuff on top uh, to help attract them. We got it here in the canyon. The wind blows the smell up and down. And uh, I read that uh, bear, bear has about a five, about a five-day territory. Uh, so we'll come back here in three, four days. If a bait has not been hit in five days, it's time to move on and try another place. So this is uh, this is Sunday, opening day of bear season. We're going to come back here uh, probably Thursday morning uh, and check and see if this has been. And we can tell from from way back up the trail, we can look at this and see if this has been moved around. All right. Uh, here we are up in our tree stand and uh, baits right baits right down over here 
and we're just kind of checking <laughs> checking things out uh, to see if see if there's anything in the way of the bait when an animal comes in so we can shoot at them looks like a pretty pretty darn clear shot so I think we're in good shape I'm pretty pleased with this uh, we'll see you on Thursday All right, here we are in our tree stand. Boy, that's a nice size bear. Check out that one. Wait a second. Maybe that's not a bear. That's a good sized bear, I think. Sure appears to be a good sized bear. Let's go down and check it out. Well, here we are at the bait site. Oh, this bear just came in. Too long ago just down below us. This little black bear. He's not real big. He's a decent sized bear though. I'm grateful for it. I really enjoy this kind of stuff. Of course you gotta thank God for making this great big creation for us to come out here and play in. Appreciate that. <laughs> so Ton Almond with Dinkus Outfitters. Uh, keep that safety off and shoot at whatever moves in the brush. You'll eventually get something. Well, here she is all, all skinned out. A little bit nicer bear than what I thought. Uh, got a pretty decent skull on her. Fairly good size, fairly good size paws. Anyway, a couple of things we neglected to mention during the video. Always wear your, your rubber boots into the tree stand. You notice when she first came in, uh, she was testing the air pretty good. And uh, also right behind the, the bait site, you notice there was some fairly thick cover, good canopy, thick foliage. Bears are fairly reclusive, makes them feel a little bit freer to come in uh, to the bait site. And obviously the thing at the end where keep the safety off and shoot at anything, that's, that's clearly a joke. So, all right, thank you very much.